and welcome back. Today I'm going to try to make mukuk, which is radish, Korean radish, mu beef stew, soup actually. Um, and the ingredients are radish, garlic, beef brisket or flank. I had some frozen and because it's frozen, I could microwave it, but I don't want to. I'm just gonna pressure cook it and then take it out and chop it up and then put it back in. I've never done it like this. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Some green onions to um, put on the put at the end. My kukkangjang, soup soy sauce, sesame oil, and I think it's gonna need more flavor today. So I have some fish sauce and gochugaru, which is Korean red chili pepper flakes. From yesterday, I have some leftover Napa cabbage and leeks. So I'm going to just stick those in there as well to finish those up. And I have six cups of water ready. I'm not sure how much water I'm going to need. So let's begin. Um, some people peeled these, but I realized um, it just takes out an extra step when I just use my knife and chop it all off myself because when I peel it, I notice um, the outer skin is still kind of on there and it's really tough. So I, I like to just chop it off because these are not that expensive and they're always so massive that it's really okay if you chop off this much. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> and with this, you're going to um, just do anything you'd like, any shape you like. I'm just gonna make my life easier. Just go like this. looks like this and then I have some garlic I'm just gonna rinse this up this is a trick my grandma taught me just Lightly do that and then you can peel them from there. <clears throat> this one's a little weird. This ready. Chop off tips. Chop off these tips. You're ready to go. Everything's ready. Okay, and yeah, I had this flank steak that I was using for miyokuk, and I have too much, and I froze it, 
and I don't want to microwave it because I've heard microwaving changes the texture or the molecular structure of it. So I'm kind of, I want to use my microwave less, so I'm just going to put this in the pressure cooker just like this. Okay, let's get started. So I know this looks like a lot of radish, but it's actually, um, it actually, you know, shrivels down a bit and it's really sweet and good and um, it, it becomes almost like mush and um, it's just so delicious with rice, so it's okay if you have a lot. Okay, that. Let's put in our garlic. Put in our frozen meat again. And let's just cover it with all my leftover veggies from yesterday. Tablespoon of this. This is the the and a tablespoon and a half, just to start. And we'll just start with that. And let's add our water slowly. That's four cups of water. water I think that's enough because the veggies release a lot of water especially uh, the rat the daikon and the napa cabbage so I think that's good for now and let's close this just making sure it's clean let's close this and we can season this more later so let's put on sealing and I'm going to put it on soup broth and I think 30 minutes should be enough so let's do that okay so see you in a bit really tender. Mm -hmm. 